Hello, it's Dana from MadeEveryday.com and Made Every Day on YouTube. And finally, today is the day that I get to introduce you to my new collection called Pickle Juice. Oh my gosh, you guys, this green color. Pickle Juice is inspired by childhood memories, which is similar to my Butterscotch collection. So maybe this is sort of a continuation of that. But I grew up in the 70s and 80s with all those great colors, the mustard yellows, the, you know, the brown tones, the flowers, the avocado greens, just so many great colors. And we spent a lot of days driving around in my cousin's little car down to the beach, eating chips, drinking soda. And because we lived in California, we spent a lot of time going to Disneyland. And my sister and I would love to walk down Main Street and one of our favorite treats was to get a giant dill pickle. So when I was thinking of those greens and everything was being pulled together, I thought this has to be called pickle juice. So let me show you some details and tell you some more info. Each of my collections starts with a mood board like this. And some of these are just inspiring images that I've seen or maybe designs that I've worked on in the past that didn't make it into other collections such as these little soda cups or these flowers I worked on right when I was done with Ghost Town. I just still had some creative energy and I started drawing those. And I put it all together. If I have a name for sure, that gives me a little bit of direction. And then I start going on one of my main prints. And this was for sure the main big graphic. I call it kind of the wallpaper print. And in this pickle color, oh, I just love it. There are different things when you're putting it together that are kind of a must have and other things that you're willing to let go. This color was a must have for me. Like I felt like it really set the tone for the collection. And I loved other versions that also didn't make it in. But then at the last minute, I tried this one and I totally love this dark color. It's super moody and I really love, there you can see the actual fabric, how it turned out in this dark teal color. And also here it is in the pickle. But where most of my collection start is with a color palette. I was having a couch recovered and had all these fabric samples on my counter and I thought this would make a beautiful color palette for a collection. Especially, I thought back to childhood and all the mustard tones, this kind of brownish green avocado, the oranges, and so I pulled out some old photos. There's little Dana from the 1980s with bangs. And here is our family room growing up with some awesome burlapy grass cloth. TV trays, TV with our first VCR right there. And look at this, my mom has her sewing machine in the front room. I totally love that with a pattern taped up on the wall. Anyway, this was kind of an inspiration that went along with the color palette with all of these. And then here's a photo of my grandma, an amazing shirt, and my dad. I loved this turquoise color also, and I really tied that into this Tetris print that I did. And I think, look, pretty close, right? I tried it in a few different colors too, and I just wanna show you that that's kind of where a lot of my collections start, is with color. Of course, we have to talk about pickles because these are my favorite kind, these little petite snackers, so good, straight out of the fridge. So I started by drawing some on cardstock with a Sharpie, and you can, I incorporated the little stars, maybe some pickle juice pieces, then I brought those into Illustrator where I digitized it and I started playing with them. I started with this, which it's kind of an odd shape. So I didn't like how it was working. I thought maybe a little more monochrome like that. And then I eventually kind of landed here, which is a fun tossed print. And I would say this is maybe more of a basic in the collection, but I feel like it really encompasses all the themes with, you know, the daisy flowers from the 70s. You got the soda cup here. You've got the car, some little hearts, and it comes in this pickle color and also in this kind of creamy and orange version with some pickles filled in some left open and it's just it's a really fun print in the collection there you go you can see both of the colors so there's the pickle part of pickle juice and then the final part of this design process is figuring out how all these pieces go together like a puzzle. I have so many different designs here, some that make it in, some that don't, more colors than I need. And it's just a process of whittling it down smaller and smaller. I start to put things into color families so that I can see how they would go together if someone was making a quilt or another project. I'll look sometimes at fabrics in fours and think, would I sew these four together? Would I sew those four together? You know, things like that and seeing, oh look, the blue of this goes with the blue in there. Even though they're not exact matches, I think those colors work together, stuff like that. 
and eventually, oh, and also looking at scale, you know, I have my large scale prints, I have my small scale prints, I have my two directional prints, things, you know, you have to think of so many different factors until we land on the final collection, which you can see right here. And I'm gonna show you in just a second. And then of course, coming up with the logo, pickle juice, pickle juice, pickle juice. Okay, let's look at some pickle juice. Here are all of the fabrics together. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love these colors, how they turned out. Okay, let's go in for some close-ups. We'll start at the pickle side. This is that novelty print that I showed you with the pickles, the sodas, the flowers, the car. Fun, non-directional tossed print. Also comes in that orange color. Then the big giant tulip wallpaper print, which I love, also comes in the dark color. Then this one is the fun daisy chain print. It's super geometric, it comes two directional, which gives you more versatility, and it also comes in this orange color. Look at those two together, total like awesome 70s vibes. Then this print is based on Tetris, which is a, a game I grew up playing with my family, but I gave it a little twist, I added some rounded edges, and it is gonna be an awesome basic in the collection. Look, it also comes in this red, and sort of dark mauve rust color and in the turquoise. So those three right there, super fun part of the collection. Then we continue on to this cute car print, this little kind of love bug thing with the you know, stars and the daisies, which also is in this colorway here. This is a pretty sea foam color with this green pickle car and the seafoam is also repeated in this Tetris print here. So it's fun to see how everything, you know, ties back together. And then one more print that I haven't even shown you yet is this star print. This is super fun. This color here is that really subtle pink color that we saw earlier in these flowers. So this one, oh my goodness, I'm already thinking of lots of projects for both of these. And this color repeats back in the Tetris. So anyway, all of the colors just really fit nicely together. And let me show you a few groupings that I really like. I like to see what groups I can make within the collection. You could make an entire project based on the pickle fabrics and the greens and yellow tones, and that would be super fun. Or you could pull out the warm tones. I love how these fabrics look together on their own. If you needed a few more fabrics for a quilt, this one pulls in really nicely. It gets that orange tones and the cream and the stars. Then you could use this Tetris print, which would work great as a quilt background. Instead of using white for your pieces, you could use this print instead. Then I also think the seafoam goes really nicely. All of these colors together just, they look really sophisticated. They flow really well. And why stop there? Pull in the turquoise. I think it gives a fun little pop of color, but again, it just flows really well together. And then for your quilt backing, how about this guy? It pulls in the dark and the star print. It ties in with the turquoise there. I just think all of it is mm, really fun. I really hope you enjoyed this collection, Pickle Juice. And I mean, I'm just excited to start thinking of the projects, like the quilt patterns, the, oh, this, I think this would be adorable as a little bucket hat, bags, Yes, remember my bag video? This definitely has to be a cute bag. Zipper pouch, shorts, aprons, oven mitts, um, so many projects. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. I'll keep pulling a few little <laughs> pieces here for you to see. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.